Hello, this is Isaac. And this is the fourth part of this tutorial about React Redux and Elixir Phoenix. I actually didn't plan to do this one, but I got a request to implement the Facebook login. So I said, why not? What I'm gonna show you is very basic. So don't take it as the most secured way. Okay, because I just wanna do it fast. And I'm gonna show you the basic of how it works. So this is my database table. Currently, these are the users, none of them is me. Now let's log in through Facebook. And Isaac Ben, that's my name and it's working. And to prove it to you, I'm just gonna refresh the page and it's still consistent. And I can log out here and I can register. This is the Phoenix app. So I did the same implementation on the back end. Now how, how does it all work? So you need to have the app ID when you open a, an app, when you create an app in your developer's account. The Facebook SDK, this just, by the way, I just copied it from Facebook documentation, this and this. And pretty much I also copied this one. So we have here the Facebook login. And if the user is connected to the Facebook, if he's logged in, because if he's not, it's gonna prompt him to log in first. So this is good. And if he is, then I'm gonna hit the Facebook API and we're specifically uh, mentioning that we want the name and email field. We're also gonna get the ID field. I'm not doing anything with the ID field, but you should in general store it in your database so you can identify a Facebook user than a regular user. Okay, it's very important, but just to make it simple, because I didn't want to change the structure of my database for that. And if I won't mention the email, you will not get the email. So if I'll delete it, and not getting the email is a big deal. You should always get the email. So if I try to log in now, let's just refresh again. In theory, it shouldn't get the email. Okay, sorry, but we couldn't fetch your email from Facebook. You can just register the regular way. This is just client validation that I did because, oh, let's go back to the email. If you don't get the email, sometimes there's problems, okay? I, I checked this with my brother's account as well, and it didn't get the email even with this. I don't know why, and it's, and it's listed as this primary email. So it's not 100% gonna work for you all the time, so don't rely on that, okay? Have this validation error, now it's working. And then for my account, it does fetch, in the, it does fetch the email, but I, I've seen cases that it's not. So just have, to have this uh, client validation right here, and maybe some something in the back end as well, okay? So don't never rely on that. It's, this is definitely not secured, because you wanna show the proper error for your user. User doesn't usually users won't know how to program. They don't know the problems that might occur from Facebook. So we got to be clear on that. So this is the button. On click, it's gonna invoke this uh, Facebook login, which is this one. And you know, if everything went well, we're gonna invoke the handle Facebook login, which is this one. We want to make sure there's an email. If there's no email, we're gonna stop the process because the backend will not respond nice to it. Well, at least now, because I didn't work on it too much. And I'm gonna pass the email, I'm gonna pass the name. And right here I have one function, and uh, not this one. I have one function that deals with both case scenarios. It's gonna look for the user by the email. Again, you might want to use the user, to perhaps the Facebook ID, but uh, you're gonna use the email. If there's a user by this email, we're just gonna log him in. If not, we're gonna register him, and if, if everything was okay, then we're gonna return a success response and we're gonna give him back the token for future requests. Because after he's registered, it's the same process like the regular user. On each uh, uh, future request to the API, he needs to have an access token, so it's this one. Now, the way that I'm doing it right now, if I'm allowing it to, if I'm gonna log in, if we have a user by this email, this means that if I registered with a regular, you know, a name, a password in an email, it will also allow me to log in with Facebook as well because it's just looking by the email. Technically, it should be fine. I'm not sure if this is something that you want to allow. So keep that in mind. Again, don't take what I'm saying you as the most secured way because I definitely didn't think through it too much. I just wanted to show it to you quite fast how it works, okay? And I'm doing the same thing for the backend, but the backend I'm using the Uber of Facebook package. There's a packet for React also. I tried to use it, but it didn't work. So what can you do? This one did work very well. And they were gonna show you step by step how to do it. And 
here also in the config mention that you want an email if you will not mention the email you will get the id the name and the access token uh, but email is very important for my case and you have here the overall examples he will show you how to do it but the only difference is that I had to change because he doesn't show it to you with the database. So here I'm doing the same thing like I did, but this this time it, it doesn't serve the API. It doesn't return a JSON object. It will, again, check for it for the email. If there's a user by this email, great. We're going to log him in. If there isn't any, we're going to register him. And if everything went okay, then that's great. Because if he will try to register, well, basically we're, we're covered because if he's going to try to register by Facebook, and he already registered with his with the same email what i'm saying is it's not possible that you will have the same email one from facebook and one from the user account okay that's not going to happen and this is it so let me know if you have any questions and i think we are covered here so it's pretty easy and just here, here i'm going to log in again it's all working you see it's working I just think for the security part how you want to handle it depending on your needs you might even want more data than just name and email maybe you want his birthday his gender her gender uh, whatever okay well, so take care see you later